welcome to civil learning online and today in this video i will be discussing about langrange interpolation formula previously we have studied about gauss forward backward newton's forward backward even stirling's as well as bezel's interpolation method of method of interpolation then you may have a question that why we required langrange interpolation formula then let me tell you, reply to your answer the reason is we uses langrange interpolation formula when the interval that is uh, the difference in x terms is uh, not uniform that is it vary some uh, in first there may we may find a condition that in uh, difference between first to x value is 2 and uh, after the, the difference between the x2 and x3 may be 4 or 5 means that is not uniform in previously uh, while uh, solving the numerical based upon Gauss forward backward uh, Newton's forward backward Stirling's Bayesians we have seen that there were uniform uniform uh, variation or that is interval between x the com value components of x but uh, here we will not find uh, those conditions applicable so there are basically two uh, methods which are used when the variation in x is not uniform that is first of them is langrange interpolation formula and the second one is the newton's divided difference formula i will soon be adding video on newton divided difference formula also till then let us begin with the langrange interpolation formula and uh, without any further delay let's get started and uh, the video will begin with the formula of Langrange interpolation and later we I will be solving a numerical so let's begin so here is the formula for Langrange interpolation that is y x equals to y 1 times x minus x 2 times x minus x 3 times x minus x 4 upon x 1 minus x 2 x 1 minus x 3 times x 1 minus x 4 plus you can read it so uh, now let us begin the toward the solution of the numerical and let me write down the question for which we will be doing the solution and uh, after doing the solution you will be more more clear about this uh, interpolation method and so without any further delay let's uh, copy the question and solve it so this is the numerical which i will be solving in this video today and we are asked to find the value of root under 155 and uh, we are given the value of root under 150 that is 12.247 and uh, you can see the difference in x is here 2 that is 152 minus 150 is 2 again 154 minus 152 is 2 and 154 minus 156 is also 2 but in some cases you may find that the difference between difference in x is not uniform and in such case we will also we in such case we will be using Langrange interpolation method but here the difference is same uh, but it won't matter here because we are asked to find the root under 155 but always remember that whenever you will find the difference between x is not uniform here if we get 2 and if we get here if we get the difference in x as 3 and here if we in different doing the finding the difference in x we get 5 4 6 etc then in such case we will be using Langrange interpolation formula because Langrange interpolation formula is mainly designed for non-uniform cases but here it is uniform but also we uh, the question was to find the value of root under 155 by using Langrange interpolation formula so I am just showing you the inter application of Langrange interpolation formula in this numerical so uh, let's begin the solution and uh, so let's begin our solution write down solution and uh, from formula we came to know that so from formula we came to know that we frequent we will be frequently needing the value of y1 x x2 x3 x4 y4 y2 y3 etc so uh, let us let me show you what is what will be the value of x x1 x2 x3 etc so guys we are asked to find the value of 155 so this is going to be our x so x will be equals to 155 now this is let this be x1 then our y1 will be this value 
similarly let it be x2 then this will be our y2 let this be x3 and this will be our y3 let this be x4 and this will be our y4 now uh, let us apply the formula to find the value of y corresponding to x equals to 155 and uh, let me uh, you you have already copied the formula let us copy this formula here and put down the value of y1 x x2 x3 x4 etc so guys i have copied the formula let us put down the value of y1 x x1 x2 x3 x4 and the first one is y1 and uh, our y1 is 12.247 so 12.247 times x x is 155 times x2 and the x2 is 152 times x 155 again minus x3 154 again x minus x4 x is again 155 minus and x4 is 156 upon x1 minus x2 so x1 minus x2 means 150 minus 152 times x1 minus x3 means 150 minus x3 is 154 times x1 minus x4 means 150 minus 156 so let us copy all copy all the formula from the table and uh, let's see how is how it is done so guys i have put dog i have kept the value of all uh, that is x x1 y1 x2 x3 y2 y3 now let me show you how we do the calculation here see guys uh, we have to do the calculation of this much then how we do switch on the calculator and take click this now enter the value first one is 12.247 and uh, here there, there, there is nothing means sign a multiplication so put the sign of multiplication now enter the bracket a small bracket 155 minus 152 close the bracket again put the multiplication sign and start the bracket and enter the value 155 minus 154 again multiply and start the bracket 155 minus 156 close the bracket now after uh, entering the value of the numerator move toward the denominator and press there here but lower button and come downward and then enter the value that is by starting bracket that is 150 minus 152 close the bracket put the sign of multiplication again 150 minus 154 close the bracket and put the multiplication sign 150 minus 156 and press enter and you will get the value just copy the value and uh, this was how we do the calculation and i am going to write the all the values and the final answer also so guys on doing the calculation we will get on solving this we get this value and on adding we will we'll get the final answer and uh, as you can see our 12.478 lies between 12.410 and 12.490 which will be the value of 155 lying between 154 and 156 so this was the final step and i hope you in like the video and uh, i will be back with more video in the in coming uh, lectures uh, and in the after this lecture i will be adding a video on the uh, Newton's divided difference formula uh, so uh, stay connected with civil learning online do not forget to subscribe and have a nice day do suggest the channel with your friends see you in the next video